Okay, uh, today's tutorial is going to be a quick one, uh, and it's going to be on how to create an animated mask. You can see we've got two different types here, uh, a couple of, you know, a, a morphing, not a morphing, but a, a moving shape mask, and then up here we've got a softer one that's uh, that's got a bit of a, um, a slower morph to it with some blurred edges. So, that's what we'll be doing. Let's get into it. All right, so we're going to say I've got my screen already set up for, I don't know, a star app or something. And I want to mask this out and animate it. And I want to mask this image out and animate it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to kind of set up our main masks. Uh, and then we'll turn them into a component. So to do that, uh, I'm just going to go right in here over the image that I'm already using. And I'm going to create... Um, Sphere. I'll just duplicate that. Shrink it down. Put it over there. Maybe we'll do another one, kind of like here, and maybe something more. highlight all those, move them into place. That's good enough. That's kind of what I'm looking for there. Okay, so now that I've got that basic shape done, I can drag it out, turn it into a component, call it uh, Galaxy Mask. Uh, and then what we'll do with this, we're, we're going to make this just a little bit bigger. Um, but I actually don't want it to stretch. So I'm going to make sure all of those are set. We'll set it to center. So I'll make this a little bit bigger just so I've got some room for things to move around. That's probably good. Okay, so all we're going to do is animate between two component states. Uh, the nice thing about making this as a component, you can use it. You can drop it in on any image and uh, it's a reusable mask that you don't have to animate every time. So we will go and we'll create a new variant. And then on this one, I'm just going to move maybe that over, maybe this down, maybe this comes up to here, maybe this gets a little bit bigger. I think that's probably enough of a change. kind of warrant an animation. Yeah, I think that's probably good. Um, and then to get the blurred edges, all we're going to do is we can highlight all of these guys. Add an effect, layer blur, and I'll probably set it to like 25 to give it a lot of blur. Okay, there we go. So now all we need to do is go into prototype, drag down, after delay of one sec one millisecond, we were gonna go smart animate, ease out is good. And I'm gonna do three thousand, so three seconds. And then on this one, we're just gonna drag it up, do the exact same thing. After delay of one millisecond, smart animate. And that'll just create a loop. And that's basically it. That's your animated mask. Um, so now all you have to do go into your assets. What did I call it? Galaxy mask. Let's see if we can find it here. Drag that into your project. There you go. Set it up where you want. Make sure it covers the whole image. And I might actually make the image a little bit bigger here. And then you would treat it like you do any other any other mask. So I'm going to move it below, select the two, group them, galaxy mask, right click, use as mask. There we go. Now we've got this nice soft edge mask. And if I go here and I start prototype, we should actually see it animating very nicely. 
So there it is. You can see it's kind of moving between shapes here. And because we've got the soft edges, it's a little, a little harder to see, but it's a nice subtle effect. It's an animated mask. Now you could add more states. Obviously, I just did two. You could add three or four, uh, and that creates you know more keyframes and makes for a, a richer animation. Um, but for the purposes of this tutorial, this is good enough. Uh, and if you want to, we can quickly knock out this one. So I mean, for the same, same thing, I'm going to go here. I'll just create my shape. You know, maybe make it like that. That. Maybe it's something like that. Who knows? Same process. We take these out. Create a component. Call it shifting mask. Create a new variant. And I'll just move these items over like that and then run our prototype exactly the same way. After delay one, after delay one, 3000, that's all good. And then again here, we can go in, find our shifting mask, drop it over top. Select our layers, group them, make sure the shifting mask is underneath your image, use as a mask. And I'm going to have to restart the prototype, I think, for that to work. And there we have it. So we've got our shifting mask down below that uses basic shapes. And the one up above, which again uses basic shapes, but creates kind of a soft edge around it. Now you can do pretty much anything you want here. The only thing Figma doesn't animate well is the actual shape of the shapes. So size, position, rotation, border, radius, the corner radius, all animate nicely. Once you start changing the path of the shape, then it just fades between frames. So keep it simple. Like I said, short and sweet, animated image mask. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, check out my other channels, check out my other videos, and we'll see you next time.